did all the setup for this last night, so there should be no, uh, there should be no issues. Um, let me just do a couple things. Really, I've already hoard out, so we don't have to worry about that. And I lost my webcam. How interesting. Let me refresh. Oh, hey. There, there it is. Okay, awesome. And holy shit, Alex is here, oh my god. Okay, let me silence my phone so that we don't have a, any issues going forward. Oh, fuck! I need those. Those are my keys. I need them to drive and go places. No, Logitech webcam controller. Go there, I guess. All right, everything sound good, everything look good. I right, fuck. Yeah, it's 1.30, nice. I'm gonna start up a new game. I am not a speedrunner of sorts, um, but I am gonna try to play through this as fast as possible. Um, that will involve skipping some shit, and you'll see what I mean when I get there. Also, thank you. I should hope your senpai looks good for you. Otherwise, what kind of senpai would I be? Oh fuck, I forgot about the bananas! Ah, oh, that's okay. But yeah, the plan is to beat Donkey Kong Country as fast as possible. I need to turn that fan on. It's going to get hot in here. And then I'm going to need to start taking off all my clothes. But I refuse to do that because I am what you would call not in shape. It's fine. I do that on purpose. I just want to get the bonus. Just to let the game know that I've been here. I don't even know why. I'm trying to go for speed. Well, I'm not a speedrunner, but you got to go fast. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Oh God, Steven's here. It's a party. Fuck. I'm not used to doing this stage with DK. All right, Diddy time. Damn it, I always do that. I think it's more to the right. When it's actually on the left side. God damn it, I could swear I updated that. I did this all last night so I wouldn't have to worry about it. Fuck you, controller. I can't work around my, con my microphone stand. Donkey Kong Country. Oh, good, I'll be the only one playing it. Update information. Thank you, Theo. I thought I fixed that. All right, controller. I'm, I'm sorry. Steven, I am playing that. This is the cartridge version, uh, the one that we still have from all that time ago. I think this is either yours or Brian's copy. Because I don't remember having this until after we moved back up north. It's possible we owned this. I'm not sure. Hey, Tossers, you just in to you just you just came in to join the fun. I will do the the button mash thing later, but after I can acquire some extra lives. And uh, this gayitude is Donkey Kong Country, probably the greatest game of its era. Oh, what the fuck? That barrel should have gone through that guy. All right. I don't remember that being an issue, but. 
Ah, oh, fucking hell. All right, here we go. We're gonna do this for legit now. Okay, that's what I wanted. Because it gives me an extra life, and those are grand. No, that's fine. Thanks for stopping by. If you follow, it's not going to register as a follow, because unfortunately, I can't link any of the cool extra shit to my channel, because Kelsey has all of it linked to hers. So, like, Twitch alerts and all that fun shit, it's all attached to her name, so I can't switch out of it and not cause a problem for her when she goes back to do something else without having to reset up everything. Which is fine, because as often as I like to stream, it's not going to be, it's not imperative that I have all the additions. You didn't know, you didn't know Star's real name? We say it all the time. Unfortunately, not with, uh, from what I've noticed, Streamlabs, I've also, I haven't really looked that in depth into it. But I have my Streamlabs, my Streamlabs account was connected to uh, OBS. I don't know if setting it up through XSplit is going to be a whole different, a whole different thing. Also, I leave the, the bot, the bot stuff. I know nothing about it. I want to look into it, but I don't want to try anything with it until I know what I'm getting into. I'm not worried that like I'm going to sell my soul to the devil or anything. It's just a matter of... I don't know how the bots work, and I want to be able to set up a designated amount of time. I want to be able to spend time to be able to figure out how they work before, you know, just going ahead and being like, oh, hey, yeah, I I'm using a bot now without having any fucking clue what they do or how they work. Magnets, how do they work? If you know, you can never be a juggalo. But yeah, the plan here today is to play Donkey Kong Country as fast as I can. And when that's done, depending on how long that's been going for, because this will probably take me anywhere from two to three hours. Uh, when that's done, if I get it done on the relatively quick, t on the quicker side, I'm going to play some Aladdin after this, also for Super Nintendo. That game, I can speedrun to a degree. I'm not the greatest speedrunner, but I have more dedicated strats than, say, playing this and going fast. Time to go to my theater thing. See ya, Bayface. You're a Bayface. Oh, what the hell am I doing? I loved playing this game when I was a kid because, well, I, I still love playing it now. Because this this harkens back to a time when games were very minimalistic. And so, like, the, a game like this, this game didn't have story. It didn't have a story to it at all. It's just you wake up and King K. Roll steals all your banana shit. Which is awesome because it allows you to... Oh, fuck, game, come on. I'm surprised that worked. I didn't hit the ground yet. Or maybe I did. I don't know. But it's like, this game, it has such a nice flow to it. Do a level, do it as fast as possible, go to the next level, rinse, repeat. And what I love about that, damn it, I wanted it to go under, that's fine. What I love about that is the fact that, um, when you've played this game as many times as, like, I have, for example, because I, holy shit, have been playing this game for years. It's like, I know how all these levels are laid out, so it's like... I can do all this stuff really fast. So all these barrels, I know when I can and can't, or rather should or shouldn't, uh, go ahead and do something, you know, that would normally be perceived as stupid. Off to rugby. See you in a bit. Awesome. I'll see you in a while then. Save points. Who needs save points? I mean, really. I wanted to start streaming sooner, like, say, noonish, but uh, Kelsey needed me to... Well, I also slept in till noon. I had a shitty headache last night. I still have it, but I took some Tylenol and it's starting to go away. Um, but I slept in until, like, noon. Kelsey showed up at, like, 9 to wake me up, and I still went back to bed because I was just exhausted. But I wanted to stream today at around, like, noonish.
And I was hoping that maybe in my ability to do that, had I the opportunity, I would have been able to catch some of you guys before you had to go off and do things. And I would have been right. The fastest speedrun of this game? Well, if you're playing through all the levels, it's like an hour and 30 minutes, maybe an hour 20. Yeah, but if you're glitching the shit out of everything, it's like 10 minutes. Oh, I have three expressos already? Cool. Let's hope I don't fuck this up like I did in practice last night. Uh, so far, I'm already fucking it up, so... So I'm just gonna have to grab some extra ones down here. Perfect. I accidentally came across 400 tokens, so I usually get the to seven and then I can't get here fast or, you know, like I have to get like 350 and then jump over here really quick. That was the first time I've ever actually that I can remember being able to get eight lives out of this bonus stage. Oh, Winky, I love you, but also hate you at the same time. More hate than love. Winky has the weirdest fucking hitbox. I swear. Because it's like, most and most characters, the Kongs included, the, their hitbox is under them, and then maybe a little bit of overhang to the sides. Winky's is like, his front, and under him a little bit. And then his legs, when they extend out, that changes his hitbox, so it's... Moving and attacking with Winky is almost ins is ridiculous. I don't recommend it. He's probably my least favorite animal buddy. My... damn it. My favorite has got to be Espresso, though. Fuck. I tried to jump. Because with Espresso... Espresso is everything that Winky isn't. I, th I think my biggest my biggest things with him and everybody god damn it I think it's strange because I love I love Winky I love him a lot but I love Espresso more I actually don't care as much for On Guard or Rambi which is which is strange because those are like the animal friends that everybody remembers from Donkey Kong Country you know Rambi is the very first one you ever get Espresso or not Espresso On Guard is the one that helps you through the water levels where you're otherwise helpless and I get that I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them, but it's like, what I love about Espresso is the fact that, um, he has everything going for him. He's fast, he can hover, um, and he can run over small enemies without worry without worrying about taking damage. Speaking of Winky, though, say hi to the frog. When I was a kid, because Winky's both green and red, but he's got, like, that splotchy pattern, there's no real... Well, there's not actually much of a pattern to it. I, I'd be... Fuck. No, 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 Winky, no! Okay, he did... He died doing what he loved most. Freaking the fuck out. But, um, when I was a kid, because he was green and red, I'm like... He's, like, covered in blood. Right, I could get that, but I don't care. So I'm just gonna say pass on that for now. And then stop and go station. Yeah, the fuck, what is it? The uh god damn it. It was like Donkey Kong Exposed or something. I remember I remember that video. Oh fuck, what am I doing? No, I want to do this the fun way. Treehouse. Oh, there's no climbing involved. What's the password? Diddy. Password? Diddy! Yeah! <laughs> Well, that was less than stellar, and I could have done that better. And then at the very end, he's like, shh, 
He just opens up the door. Hey, guys, what are you playing? Oh, fuck. I don't want to do this again. All right. Now we can go back to Funky's Flights. Er, no, not yet. That's the whole point of why I decided to skip that one area. So I guess we can just go back through here. I need Diddy Kong for this. All right. Ah, oh, fuck. No, don't, 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 please, no. I don't know if, I, if I'm gonna be able to. Okay, no, I got it. But I love this little glitch. And I never, I didn't know about this for the longest time. Um, it's not even a glitch, it's an exploitation. So, because Nintendo published this game, even though this is actually like a product of Rareware, it's not like tied to the Mario franchise in any way. But what Rare decided to do was, um, because it was published by Nintendo and Donkey Kong is a Nintendo IP, they're like, we should throw a little homage to Mario. So even though you don't get points, there are no points in this game. Even though, uh, there's no indicator for it, every time you bounce off an enemy without touching the ground, it counts as a point system. And those points will, will, rack, will rack up individually until you get, like in Mario, one-ups. So just like the turtle glitch in the old Mario games where you can just get an ungodly amount of lives, you can do the same for this. And I know I went past the 99 mark, but it does extend over 99 lives. I know I'm losing seconds, but this is, will enable me to actually beat the fucking game. Because I am not the greatest when it comes to the later levels. After the ice area, once we get to Creme Croc Industries, I start to suck ass. You've had plenty of water, and I just fed you, so I don't know what your issue is right now. Oh, fuck. There's a- there's Winky up there, but I don't- I think Winky, of all the possible stages, he does not need to be in this one. Or she, I don't know. I don't know if, if Winky is, in fact, a female or not. Ong. Scrappy, meowing at me is not going to get you anything. Oh, fuck. Mine? I'm surprised you ventured all the way in here past the dog just to meow at me. No, I don't want to talk to you. Dude, I don't want to talk to you. Alright, so we can skip the boss. Scrappy, stop it. We'll go back to Congo Jungle. And I've noticed that this glitch only works... Only works when there's one sprite on the stage. So, like, you have to be in... F oh, fuck. You have to be in Funky's Flights mode, or there has to just be one Kong that... Fuck! <laughs> that got to the end of the... There just has to be one sprite. So if it was Donkey and Diddy on the map, you wouldn't be able to do it. I don't know what that's about, but. Right, so we'll go over here and get on guard. Hi right, there, fish buddy. I thought that was progress. No, progress is here. I remember doing this without on guard. It's downright insane. Dodging those pearls, at least. Because he's just so fast. What? No way. Fuck! Come on! No, 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 no. Get over here. On guard, I swear to Christ. Now we're gonna lose him in a second, aren't we? 
<laughs> Shoutouts to Aquatic Ambience being the best music in the game. Fuck, okay, on guard, you I release you back into the sea from whence you came. That's possible. I don't know anything about the hex tables of this game. I just know that I just know the specifics of how to get that glitch to work. I think it's funny how little you actually have to understand about a game to be able to pull off some really weird shit. Glacier. Even this is where I start to have some trouble. I remember they specifically highlighted this this stage in the uh, Donkey Kong Exposed video. It's like, so, in the first level of the ice place, there's this really slow-moving vulture, so if you hop up on the igloo and let the vulture go all the way to the left side of the screen, um, you can jump on him, and it's, he'll, you can boost up to a barrel that's not even on the screen. Favorite character? It's gotta be the big blue buff dudes. Why why is that? Well, because they're big, they're blue, and they're buff. Oh god damn it. Here starts the barrel high jinx again, and I died. Oh yeah. Everything about this game was fantastic. jumped and I also broke the barrel on the ground god damn I'm surprised that one worked. Normally jumping on him from that angle gets me killed. I have to remember which is the right barrel to jump on. Fuck! <sighs> Screw for their time, the snow effects in this game are groundbreaking now. Well, maybe not groundbreaking, but they're still fantastic. Very pleasing to look at. Even when the stage, even when the snow in the stage turns into a clusterfuck like it is right now, it's still not that bad. There we go. And I think there is another G. So like if you didn't get that one, or maybe that's the only G, I don't know. There are some stages that have multiple letters. I just love how this stage looks. All the jagged fractal edges of the the crystals and stuff, it's great. Rare knew what they were doing when they made this game. I am still still to this day, I know that the rare the Microsoft Rare buyout was years ago, but I don't know why when they were going bankrupt that Nintendo didn't want to jump on it. That doesn't to, in my brain that just doesn't make sense.
Oh, come on, really? Alright, I remembered. Oh, shit. What's up, May? You're just in time for some Donkey Kong Country. And depending on how fast I beat the game, maybe a little bit of Aladdin. A little bit of Aladdin. The Super Nintendo one, not the Genesis one. I honestly think the Super Nintendo one's more faithful to the film, not to mention just a better game. A lot of my bias also stems from the fact that I've never played the Genesis one. Oh, come on. Oh, God damn it, game! Not letting me jump immediately. Hey! Shortly followed by B. Daxter, what are you growling at in there? You're not threatening. You're not terrifying. Nothing's afraid of you. Silently growls. Well, not silently, but much quieter than before. Like he thinks I can't hear him. Let's go up to the top of the stage this time, because I don't trust DK's ability to... Okay, I know I can do this. I don't have all the letters. I just... This is to prove to myself that I have the skills. Oh, I didn't have any of the letters. Uh, which thing? Was it the thing in the animal section with the snake and the, the cat? Because I saw that for myself. She didn't actually show me that. Which was nice, if that's what you're alluding to. Fuck. No, 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 no. No, come back, bird. Come ah, shit. Oh, right. This part. The part of the game that fucks with my expectations. The book. I did not see the book. I have no idea what you're talking about. I guess I can get my bird friend back. I'll have to check the Discord later. I am sorry that I'm, like, never on Discord. I really want to spend time on that Discord server, but it's like... I never think about it. Kelsey can be, like, playing Sims and watching Dr. Phil and talking on Discord all at the same time. I'm either, like, I'm playing a game or I'm watching something, and that, like, eats all of my attention. I don't know how she can multitask like that. Oh, fuck. I forgot for a split second what stage we were in. Oh, voice acting. I will definitely check that out. Nope, I got I gotta wait. There we go. Cause this stage, this stage cost me so many lives as a kid. Cause it's like you see the rope. The rope swings out to you as you approach it. But you have to, you know, time it and jump into it as it's approaching. If it's, like, at full arc swing towards you when you jump on it, there's no way. Because it's going to swing away and you're going to just barely miss it. And then you're going to fall into the pit and feel really stupid. Of course you have it because it's by Yuri Lowenthal. I mean, what? Oh, shit. Squids. They're honestly more dangerous than the croctopus that chases you around in this stage. Because there's one spot where if you're playing through this level fast, there's this one spot where you're getting chased and there's a squid that you see, and it's really easy to avoid. But then as you go up, because it scrolls up the screen... Fuck! <laughs> I wanted the bananas. Because it scrolls up the screen, even if it leaves the screen, it doesn't despawn or anything. 
So it continues to go to go up the screen. So you go through a little bit of a uh, like some twists and turns, giving it time to catch up. And then you, it's I think it's this one. So you'll go up, and then if you're not fast enough, it will catch you on its way back up. It might be another one that seemed kind of easy. Or maybe it's just a later level that does that, because we're not done with squids after this. There are more water levels. There's at least one. And it's my probably my most hated level in the game. And it, a lot of it comes from the fact that you're completely helpless in water levels. Shit, okay. Thought I was, thought I ate it there for a second. So I don't know what's going on with that, because that one's really easy to avoid if you just go up. I don't know what's down or to the right, but I guess there must be like extra lives or treasure or something. Are you serious? Ah, uh uh, chomps, go away. I honestly think the chomps juniors look better than the chomp seniors or just chomp if you would <laughs> yep follow the bananas the bananas will never lead you astray except that bunch that I got that got me killed and then it's up it's up eventually we can get on guard and then that just makes the rest of this level cake I think it's at the top of this yeah here it is hey buddy we get a life. And then on guards here. And then there's a chomps here because that might very well be the only monster you kill for the rest of the level. I want to read chat for a second. Gets into stuff like how to get started, how much you get paid, and what to do with networking, etc. Nice. I'll definitely look into that. I already have like 50,000 books about voice acting. I have not read any of them. <laughs> no, I want that G. Just because it looked good. Not today. Torchlight Trouble. Now, I remember this stage is really short. But seizure warning. As I give, as I give many people a seizure. Oh, fuck the slowdown. I think it's because Squox is another sprite that's like in such close proximity to DK and Diddy that like the game can't handle it. Which is probably why he's the only, this is the only stage that has Squox in it. They're like, yeah, let's try something late game. And then they realize they're like, yeah, let's not do this again. I mean, I like this idea. Definitely keep it in the game. Just only one level of it. Okay, hang on. I want this. Eh. Okay, I remember there being something to do with that barrel. I, f I, I had the strangest suspicion that I was about to ask. I'm like, what, what about the book? Did you like take pictures of every page or whatever? But I don't, I don't think taking pictures of each page will be necessary. accept that. Fuck, I always do that. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I could get that. I don't Don't look at me like that. 
Okay, DK, I know you have an idle animation and you love to use it, but I was standing still for maybe a second. Come to think of it, I wasn't looking, but I think you actually came out of the barrel doing that. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, not fuck. Oh my god, Diddy's just the best character. Why would even why would you even try to play as DK when you can play as Diddy? Did it again! Ah, fuck! I mean, are you serious? You kidding me with that shit? I never thought of all the stages this would be the one that gave me trouble. I actually expected to run into more uh, resistance on the, the, the stage with the orangutans. Why'd you stop bouncing? I just realized it. Speed run over. He wasn't bouncing. What the fuck? I get it's an old cart, but all the information the game needs to run properly is here. Okay, there's three tires. There we go. There. Jesus. It's not hard. The really naughty rampage. Oh, fuck, right. I remember. I remember. I remember the basic concepts. I'm surprised that didn't kill me. It's too bad that didn't kill me. Bosses are probably the easiest part of this game, the more I think of it. The only one that might actually give you any trouble is maybe King K. Rule, but that's it. He just takes some memorizing. And whoever the boss of, uh... No, I'm wrong. Uh, Chimp Caverns is actually a pretty easy boss. This might just be the best music in the game, next to Aquatic Ambience forget what the name of this music is called, which makes me really sad. I didn't want to do that. Shit, okay. That, that's fine. I know there's another DK barrel coming up really soon. I, what? I get that I can't pick up that barrel. $20 on Amazon. I'm going to look into it if I if I feel it's worth <laughs> if I feel we have the ability to spend the money on it. I will definitely put some money down. Okay, there should be All right. Are you serious? Ass. I believe Kelsey has an Audible account if we fuck. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll I'll see. I know she also has Twitch Prime, so. couldn't hit the guy. They must have amazing legs if all they do is jump. It's how they get around from place to place. Like a Jiang Shi or something. Well, even they don't hop that high. I did it again! Oh, hey, look at this. physical book if you sign up for the Audible trial this month. Neat. Ah! Did 
Actually, it's up to you. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's just... There we go. They get faster. Alright. I actually thought I was fucked for a second. And go. And I think that one will always go down as you approach it. It's just designed to scare the fuck out of you. I misread. I did it dumb. Oh yeah, this level. There's, there starts to be a lot more of that as the game goes on. Oh yeah, this one. Oh, fuck me. Not as bad as Chimp Caverns, though. When you have to start worrying about doing this with also managing health and... Or not health, but like... Fuel. For the thing. That's when it starts to get bad. Whoa. Thought you could be fast, but you weren't. I... Okay. That's fine. Just... Give me access to my friend and then rip him out of my hands as as soon as I can see him. That's fine. Let's give it up for dodging everybody or ducking everybody. Oh shit, we're going fast. All right. Okay, I'm about to say, I'm like, there's no way the stage is over. So I've noticed that when it comes to the, the enemies that fall from the platforms on the ceiling, uh, is su oh, fuck! <laughs> I just, like, fucked myself up there. If you... Uh, stand as close to the edge as you can uh, their timer for when they start moving is based on the proximity you are to them like in a latitudinal or longitudinal because it's oh you just didn't you didn't want to play that's fine you're you're one of the smart ones but uh, it's based on where they are relative to you on the map so the closer you are to them the sooner they will start to move it's not rude or anything. He starts throwing at you from this direction and can't hurt you. And then the bees. The bees aren't that bad. The crusher will get stuck on the... Or we can just do that. That's fine. Sometimes you have to be careful because the crusher can get stuck on the edge of the thing. But we're at the end of the level. So as long as I don't fuck anything up, we'll be fine. We're good. Persona in general. Oh, I thought for a second I was going to die. Oh my god, that scared me. I'm like, why would there be, why would there be bananas and then they killed me? What's up, Swift? I haven't talked to you in forever, man. How's it going? Ah, fuck. Ah, shit! I am okay. No, not even close to an aneurysm yet in Donkey Kong Country. Why would I be? I mean, seriously. Ah, shit! So, Swift, since you're just tuning in, I'm playing Donkey Kong Country. My plan is to beat it as fast as I can. So far, that's going just swimmingly. And uh, when I'm done with this, uh, depending on how long I've been going for this, I have been I have plans to maybe play Aladdin after this. Yeah, working way too much. 
haven't been working too much. I've been working too hard. I don't work like a full 40 hour work week, but Jesus Christ, does work beat the shit out of me when I am there. We're, I'm gonna come out and say it right now. We're, I'm do, I'm making surprisingly good time. What the fuck? Aladdin for the win. Jesus Christ game. The difficulty certain suddenly got turned from like a three to like a seven. Because the game thus far has allowed me to move relatively fluidly. Now it just expects me to stop. Which I can do. It's just I've been playing the game so much. Fucking really, Snake? What, what, what is it with that shit? I've been able to play just so meticulously so far. And now the game's just like, nope, you have to, you have to go when I say you can. You're supposed to dodge! And I have not played any of, um, any of the South Park games. I hear uh, Stick of Truth is really good, and I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna watch somebody play Fractured But Whole at some point. If I don't get it myself, maybe. Depending on how much it is upon its release. Because, I mean, like, Stick of Truth is still... Well, I guess... I don't know if it's out already or ha how long it has been if it is. But I know, like, Stick of Truth is still really expensive. Okay, here... This was the problem. I, I didn't have Diddy Kong. Now that I'm Diddy Kong, the game just got a million times easy because he's the easy button. My nose keeps itching. This is not helping because it's distracting me. Fuck. It's okay. Stick of Truth is coming. Ooh. I might definitely look into that then, because that's like $80 worth of game for half the price. Yeah, it's probably going to come out like 50 maybe $60. It surprises me that like even with inflation, how inflation has like changed the economy as a whole, games are still, games are still $50, $60. Super Nintendo games were $50, $60, and that was 1990s money. That's like, that's like $100 a game now. And oddly enough, some people would be willing to spend that much for said game. Like a copy, like a carded copy of Super... Really? A carded copy of Super Metroid? This? Finally, the save point. It's a good thing I had that save point. Yeah. Well, also, like, Final Fantasy VI is... Yeah, that's another example of how much uh, developers can extort players for their games. Like, you can't do that shit now. I just... What the hell? I just did an amazing... I don't know how I did it. I... I'll take it. I clipped through that guy so many times... I bumped and rolled at the same time, which caused me to clip through him, hitting him so many times that it gave me two level ups. Or level ups, just lives. All right, this is the easy part of the level. If I can just get through this. All right, 
right, now we have another Kong. I thought I could have thought I could have made it. I guess that's true. Shit. Now I'm just getting careless. Oh yeah, all the fantasy stars. Be well, it's because also it's legacy preceded it. That's also why Final Fantasy VI was so expensive. It's like if you liked Fantasy Stars 1 through 3, get ready for the next Fantasy Star. Fantasy Star 4. Everything you love about Fantasy Star, only using the latest technology. Every game does that to a point. Except, like, franchises like Call of Duty and shit like that, where it's, I can't call it shovelware, but they're not improving. Shit. Stupid vulture thing. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. I can do this. All right, where's, there you are. I remember this is, this is tricky. Like that Run DMC song. All right. There's the bee. We jump over him, it's super simple. All right. I remember that being worse. I guess I overhyped myself. Jump on that barrel. I want to thank everybody really quick for stopping by. And for those of you that have stayed, uh, I'm not calling out any lurkers, and I don't know everyone that's in... I don't know the names of everyone that's in here right now. This is the stage I was talking about. This may be my most hated stage in the game. Shit. But uh, it, I look at my dashboard, it says we're at seven viewers right now, so I would like to thank everybody for that. Ah, ha, ha. That was my rendition of Return to Innocence by Enigma. <laughs> That's fine, Theo. Theo, before, before Kelsey started streaming, I streamed a lot. I had no, I had no viewer base whatsoever. Maybe occasionally, Steven would stop by, Swift dropped in a handful of times, but that was it. And, um, I'd play through entire games. I remember I played through all of, uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, essentially by myself. It was like a long let's play. Well, May, how dare you stuff your face with lunch? Also, what's for lunch? Lunch sounds fantastic right now. I had a McDouble because I went to go grab something for Kelsey because she's not allowed to leave the premise. Shut up, Steven. <laughs> well, it was Mystic Quest. Mystic Quest is fine. I'm not gonna say great. because It's not great, but it's fine. If there's one complaint I have about Mystic Quest, it's honestly, it's not the fact that it's a mediocre Final Fantasy, it's that it was the only Final Fantasy that Europe got until 7. That's my whole issue with it, really. I don't mind that it's simplistic, because I can play through, if I want to, I can sit down and play through it in a day. I can beat it in 8 hours. And get everything. It's not even just like, oh, well, you know, that's just like the fastest. I can do everything in the game and beat it in eight hours. All the battlefields, all the spells, all the shit. Yeah. It is a decent game. I just kind of wish it didn't have the name Final Fantasy attached to it. I think it would have done a lot better. It probably would have aged with a better reputation had that been the case. kind of bothered by this stage and the fact that they they can bother they bother to use the aquatic ambience theme when we're just in a polluted lake 
You know, it's not even like... It's not like Clam City, or the first water level, which I think was Aquatic Ambience, or even Croctopus Chase. Yeah, it was frantic and probably wasn't warrant to use the Aquatic Ambience theme either, but at least it had a prettier setting. I don't know, this stage, it's just, it's puke green background, it's dead coral reef, just something about it is not very pleasing, and this music does not match the tone of the level. Shit, okay, I know On Guard's over here, which is why... On Guard is not over here. Yes, he is! I lied! I was playing with everybody's expectations. Or I could be saying that just to try to fool myself. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, this way. Oh, I'm psyched about the Secret Amount of Remaster, too. I looked into it. It's going to have online multiplayer, but I don't know if it's going to have local co-op. Which, if it doesn't, I'm going to be pissed, because I really want to play it with Kelsey, because she's never played Secret of Mana. But if I can only, you know, if it's only multiplayer online, I'm going to be pissed, because, oh shit, on guard, come back! No! He'll be back. He always comes back. There he is. Hi, fishy. Come on. Oh, fuck! He'll be back. He always comes back. That would be a great father-son bonding experience, playing Secret of Mana. Okay, I have the feeling Fishy's not coming back. Yeah, he went too far and he rezzed off the stage. Oh shit! See, if we had my fish, this wouldn't be so bad. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Welcome back, DK. Swim, Diddy, as quickly as you can. Oh, fuck. This is why I wanted on guard. Because these fish. Okay, I think I got all the, all the high ones out of the way. Damn it. I shouldn't have gone for that. This is the part where I die. I knew it was going to happen. Don't see why they wouldn't have it. Because they want more people to buy it. So that they can play it with their friends and loved ones, which if you can only play it multiplayer, that means you have to buy another PlayStation. And another copy of the game. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't get on guard again. Well, luckily now I don't have to worry about finding him, but I also have to wait until I can get another Diddy Barrel, wherever that's gonna be. It's nearby. That was a terrible idea. I have an excellent solution. Let's change the subject. Oh, fucking fish, man! It's like Spoon Man, but you die. I expected the tire to come up sooner. I didn't know where it was. All right, I'm getting on guard. It's just, I want my fishy friend. Because he's a better pal than, than Diddy ever was. Running off, getting his own game. Diddy Kart Racing. Which was really fantastic from what I hear. I've never played it though. On guard, get your ass over here. You know your your friend is bad when he's getting killed by easy monsters. Okay, hang on. Yep, there you are. And up here. And now we go. Alright, I know there's a fish. There he is. Shit. Alright. Hi, Diddy. Welcome back. I certainly didn't badmouth you while you were gone. 
Oh, uh, that's so much, so much easier. God damn it, on guard, you piece of garbage! Fuck. Okay, hang on. There we go. And that's not it. That's it. Yes. Raid was a bust. Feckin' leechers. I'm sorry, Theo. What were you playing? No, I'm actually going back to back to candies. Fuck that. Oh yeah, in case you thought we were done with the minecarts. I don't remember this level being too god awful though. But I'm sure it will prove me wrong. Fuck! Okay, I scared the shit out of myself. The Grand Blue Fantasy. I think I've heard of that. If it's interesting, I might actually look into... Ugh. I feel when you jump out of this, the, the cart moves faster than you do. So it's like it's getting away. But then I jump and it's not. It, so it feels very unfounded, but at the same time, still terrifying. Game, stop it. You're frightening me. I overshot. Only a master of dexterity can turn the T-block in time to... It is done. Got all the letters, didn't even realize. Hey, get out of here. Don't even try it. That, ain't, that shit ain't funny. I think there's even another minecart stage after this. Maybe there's not. Because I remember the broken minecarts on the tracks. And I feel like that's just minecart madness. Like the latter parts of the level that I skipped. Because I skipped the entire stage. Finally done with lunch, so I can fully bother the con man. Alright, blackout basement. I always used to think this was the boss, but no, the banana horde is, like, way over there. <laughs> so, blackout basement. This level is not long, but oh god, if it doesn't fuck with your senses. They throw easy monsters at you because they blink out in the dark. This is where I require almost full concentration. A warning if you do look into it. It's not a lot. Not a lot of the game is explained and you've got a pretty steep learning curve. Okay. When in doubt, just jump. That's what I always do when the lights go out. Like, even, even in, fuck. All right, welcome back, DK. I feel like, eh, fuck. <laughs> they do this shit on purpose. The, every time they turn the lights off, it feels like they're off for longer and longer at a time. And it gets more frustrating, or not frustrating, well, yes, frustrating, but also, fuck. Okay, pausing is not gonna make the, the likes come back on faster. Okay. Yes! 
First life! You know that feeling where you're like, oh fuck, I still have free time to be- I still have free time to be a lazy piece of shit? I'm having that. I don't gotta do anything until 3.30 for the apartment inspection. That's nice. Boss Dum Drum. How's it going, Dum Drum? The only boss where DK's actually better for fighting it than Diddy is. <coughs> Excuse me. Because uh, he'll drop armadillos, which you can just roll, or which you can just jump on to. Fuck. It's almost hard not to sneeze, Dad. Because, like, you want to sneeze... Well, I I instinctually do it because I've been, you know... I've been an internet IP for so long. I do it instinctually to be, like, away from the microphone. Now, why'd you duck? Oh, monster's dropping on my head. might be the most times I've ever died to this boss. Fuck, man! They're snakes! Alright, little clap traps. Get rid of them. This is not hard. Then the clumps come out. And I remember the army dillos are last. All right. Just don't stop moving and he can't hit you. If getting hit by the drum is what kills you, then you're just a bad Donkey Kong player. Fuck! He spawned and then he, he hesitated when he fell. I wonder if that was a small glitch. Because he should have just fell right out. Because I jumped anticipating that he'd just fall immediately and then he wasn't there. Snakes, which I can just roll into, so why the fuck am I jumping on them? Flap traps, these guys are easy. Fuck. If you get hit by the drum, you're just a terrible Donkey Kong player, as I almost get hit by the drum. Alright, I actually want DK for these guys, because he only has to jump on the armadillos once. Fuck. Yeah, see, he waited. Fuck. There. Would have been pissed if that killed me. I explode myself as a final last ditch maneuver. Okay, I'm gonna go back and save it. Candies really quick. Check the Octopath Traveler demo when you have some time. Probably around an hour's worth of gaming looks really promising. I will look into that. Octopath Traveler. Oh yeah, that's right. I have a Switch now. The Switch is such a fantastic console. I'm not saying that just because I'm fresh out. Oh, fuck this stage. I was talking about this one and everything. I'm not just saying that the Switch is great because I'm fresh off the heels of getting one, but it's like, um... I'd be like, it's just another console. Except for the fact that you can actually just take it wherever. And that's amazing, and I love that. Because it's like, we're still watching Kelsey's parents' place, which is why the streams from her have been very inconsistent lately, because they just apparently don't like being at home for the month of October. But it's like, I pulled that thing out, and it's like, I'm, I'm playing Zelda downstairs in the basement, where, like, the dock is connected, 
but then it's like, I want to go upstairs and harass Kelsey for a little while. And I can totally do that. Why can't I? What the fuck? Oh, okay, I get it. There's no... Why would you bother giving me more fuel? If we're just going to jump to a new thing. Because I'm like, wait, I'm going to lose because... Never mind. But... So I'm like, I'm, I'm, I feel like going to harass Kelsey for a little bit. And so I... Oh, shit. <laughs> so then I can just do that. I can just pop it out and just take it upstairs. And honestly, I don't like having the Joy-Cons that far away from each other. I kind of like the little uh, controller adapter thing that they have for it. Eh. Shit. Oh, if I had known. I saw a little bit of something. I didn't know if it was a fuel barrel. Feels super inspired by Final Fantasy VI, has a decent amount of the good braver, uh, bravely default mechanics, along with new interesting ones, and that has two story arcs well, two story arcs well in the demo. Set up the two story arc. Kind of want to get a Switch to play Minecraft on the go, but at the same time, but at the same time they came out with it for 3DS. I love Kelsey and everything, but, you know, sometimes I want to go harass her and be an asshole. I know that feeling. When Kelsey started playing Stardew Valley, I didn't know what a computer looked like. She got Stardew Valley, and then I never saw her again. And then every time she goes into a, a Sims fix... Same thing. We don't talk, we don't, we don't, we don't interact at all. It's just. It's just her playing Sims. just jumped to those bananas. You didn't have to give me shit. I don't know if it's a... It, I'm probably hindering myself by still having the bounce thing. Oh, shit. Well, can't say I didn't try. Surprisingly, Golf Story is a lot of fun. You guys are adorable. I can picture you going to poke her in the face while she's looking at her phone and her biting your finger. That sounds like something. It is something we would do. That is something that has... That setup has happened before. Playing this, every time I go to play this game, it reminds me of a time back before Kelsey started streaming. Um, I streamed this once, and I was playing it, and I was having a good time. Again, it was before there was any, any viewer base, so nobody was actually watching. But, um, shit! I got, I got to get! I could just jump into the barrel. God, that doesn't help me! <laughs> That is the pose of why has God left us. I need to play as Diddy Kong. There are no threats, so playing as DK is not advantageous here. But, um, I was playing this, and I had to step away for a second, about an hour in. I had to step away. I either went to the bathroom or went to grab a drink, whatever. And so, I muted my microphone. I come back, kept playing, never unmuted. Beat the game. There's about an hour and a half worth of content. Completely muted. Shit! I, damn it. I can't, I can't, there's no fixing it. I don't even have to bounce the, the, the tire onto the, onto the platform. I can just jump to it from the edge of 
the the overhang, the whatever that is. I hear like the dripping noises and like the, the tapping noises, and it reminds me of um I mean like I don't notice it now, but it reminds me of the music from uh what is that area? The very first area in uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, the River Riverbell Path. So when the music starts up, it's just like dripping sounds because it's like a watery basin of sorts. I can just jump up into those bananas. No reason to have the barrels there. But um, yeah, just that dripping. That's what that reminds me of in my brain, which makes me sad because I never brought that game with me when I moved so I'm hoping god damn that uh don't do this to me god damn it we almost had it that's <laughs> yep that's why it's helpful to have people yell at you about the mic too bad I didn't have that but hopefully, hopefully soon, my mother contacted Kelsey, of all people, the other day, asking what our address was. So hopefully she's going to be sending me the games that she has, because Colt moved out of the house and took essentially nothing with him. So that's a bunch of Super Nintendo games that are mine, and GameCube games that I wasn't able to bring with me. Shit, it happened again. I'm just going to kill myself. It's a bad day. Send yourself in a cardboard box, pull a solid snake. What the fuck? And I can't switch to Diddy while I'm on this platform, so that's, that's great. Alright. There we go. That's what I want. And then Diddy dies for some unknown, mysterious fucking reason. And then I get pissed. I mean, they want you to push it down onto the elevator, but it doesn't... There's no reason to do that, because you're more likely going to get it to fall off. Shit. That's not good. I don't want to have DK, and only DK for the rest of the level. It is a huge hitbox. And he's bad. I know it's his game, but I mean, Jesus. And then this shit. He just won't. This is where the game starts to grate on me. This is the first level of this fucking area. And honestly, it's the worst one. And once you can get past this, the rest of Chimp Caverns is not bad. It's not easy, but it's not nearly as ridiculous as this. Because there are too many variables in this stage. I'm staying DK until Diddy dies for some unforeseen occurrence. Actually started MGS5. I didn't know you weren't playing it before. Sort of hope Death Stranding ends up a lot like the prologue chapter with MGS5. I actually don't know what you're talking about. Death Stranding. Oh, probably a different game. Yeah, I'm assuming. I know it's conjecture. But it's something I have to do. There's no way you're gonna get hit by the fucking bees. I feel if there was a mechanic in this game, like there was in uh, DKCs 2 and 3, where you could throw your partner, a lot more of this game would open up and would be insanely broken! Come on, what is this? Game of Development by Kojima Productions. 
Okay. Nice to see that Kojima's still doing stuff. That, like, he has... He has... He's so good. He has his own resources to be able to open up his own studio. And that's how you know what the good developers are. Like, Koji Igarashi, the Castlevania guy, he was able to do the same damn thing. And he left uh, Konami willingly. Kojima just waited for them to fire his ass. And I'm sure he had his own plans about leaving and stuff, but it's like... I want this tire swing. I don't know what good it's going to do me. I just want to have it. Well, I was able to keep my Kong. So now I... Well, actually, that will... that well, That'll be helpful. Cool! I died on maybe the easiest obstacle. That's great, game. Will you get out of here? Thank you. Kojima is currently being nice and sexed by Sony. Yeah, I let's not talk about Inafune. I think he got a little fuck. He got a little fucked. That's all it was. Little tiny little fuck. I wouldn't be surprised if after this fucking stage I don't die ever again. Except on King K. Rule, because he's a fuck. I've got the stage, like, burned into my brain. Oh, okay. Get lost. Fucking tire. Mighty number nine and Theo starts laughing. I wanted to get on the Kickstarter for Mighty number nine, and I didn't have money at the time, and you know, now I can only say I'm glad I dodged that bullet. Alright, you guys can do it. Your Kongs and arms. We can make this work. I know I knew you're supposed to jump for that one. I mean, Jesus. And I got this far. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. Oh Jesus. Get out of here, naughty, you piece of garbage. Oh my god, my nose was itching that entire time. Oh. Not bad. I only lost a million lives. At least Yuri's gonna be Spoderman. There's ever a moment I'm glad I didn't play Mega Man as a kid. <laughs> Mighty number no. 9 is that moment. I love the Mega Man games. On it, fuck. It starts! I got killed by the first enemy in the game. Great. Well, something that is also the first enemy in the game. If this was the first stage of Donkey Kong Country, I don't think this game would be as critically renowned as it is. All right. Now, Rambi can power us all the way through this fucking stage. You know, assuming we don't lose him. Jesus, can we get up on the... Yep, that's fine. Oh, what? I hope I get my, uh, I hope I get Rambi back. Yes. Shit, no! 
Uh, that, that's fine. We're well over halfway through the stage. Oh, shit. Now I have to be cautious again. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Aside for the cheap death the first time through, I was actually doing okay. Damn it, now I have to be careful. God damn it, game. Shit. I don't know how to do this without Rambi. God damn it, no. Stop itching. Why the hell? This is such a problem for me today. Alright. Alright, and then where are you? There you are. Uh, what was that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want to know. Hop, and then we're out. See? Two deaths. Versus the 20 something of the other stage. Misty Mine. Oh, God. This is the one with the. Is this the one where the lights go out? Or is it just a mine stage? I think it's just a mind stage, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Fuck. You know what? I'm going back and getting that DK barrel. <laughs> so I know there is a stage where the lights go out. I remember that stage is not the most fun of stages. So I might be getting stuck there for a while too. But I'm already making impeccably good time. We're in the last area of the game that isn't, you know, Gangplank Galleon. I don't even count that as an area because it's just a boss fight. And as long as you know what you're doing, K rule is not that hard. Okay. That wasn't as bad as I was anticipating. This is why I got all those lives. Okay, loopy lights. This is the one where the lights turn off. And we have the little shitty things that jump only when you do. But luckily there's a secret to this stage, and that's the, the little clap traps that jump when you do, they only show up when the, when the light buttons show up. So as, if you jump as soon as you see one of these buttons, You'll be able to land on the, as long as you're moving forward at least, you'll be able to jump on the claptrap as it's, you'll be able to land on the claptrap as it's landing because it can't jump as high as you. Or in situations like this, if you just jump straight up and then fall in the pit. Uh, ZGP stands for Zero Gear Plus. I actually love telling this story because it's like, Everybody has their where did you get your username from story and mine's like very particular um, Zero gear plus it came from When I when I first made my YouTube account I Was playing Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days at the time I had just gotten to the end and it was like it was my favorite game It was like my new favorite game. It was so great and I loved it 
there is a weapon there are weapon gears in every for every type like there are like a million weapons just like in kingdom hearts there's a million different keyblades and you equip them through your ability crit ability grid as an item known as a gear or an ability gear or whatever every gear has a plus to it except the very last gear in the game known as the zero gear which i jumped in a hole um, the zero gear you can only buy after having, you'll never gain uh, this many hearts. You gain like heart points or something. I, it's been so long since I played the game. Uh, you gain these little things after each mission because it's a mission based game called heart points and you only get like a hundred or a couple hundred. If that you need 30,000 to be able to buy this thing and it's your currency so you're going to be current constantly spending them throughout the game so it's not like you can just grind them all up to the end the very last moogle in the game before you fight the final boss sells the zero gear for 30 for 30,000 hearts so i bought it and i used it and it was my favorite keyblade you get the two become one keyblade which is my favorite looking one even though its stats are kind of abysmal um and it was my favorite gear because it's the best one in the game. And so it's the only gear in the game that doesn't have a plus. And I'm like, well, I fancied myself better than the greatest weapon type, the greatest weapon gear in my favorite game at the time. So that became my YouTube moniker. And that's the story of where Zero Gear Plus came from. A lot of people had their own speculations when I was starting out. Uh, because they were like, oh, zero uh, in gear, so it must be something mechanical. So they were thinking along the lines of maybe Mega Man or Borderlands, and I had to break everybody's expectations saying, no, that's it's actually much more simple than that. Or I guess complicated, depending on how you want to look at it. I didn't get to the halfway point yet? Huh. All right. I don't know. Either Diddy should have died or... Fuck. Okay, I need, I need this. Or do I? Just if I wanted those bananas. If I can just get through this level, that'd be great. This does not look good on this, on this monitor. Fuck, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, I thought it meant Zeus's giant penis. Had we been playing like Gear or God of War or something, maybe I would have made an exception. Retcon my origin story. And then I fell in the pit. Once you hit the halfway point, I know the level's not so bad. Aladdin. Let's go. Oh, fuck zingers. Shit. Damn it. I wasn't ready for zingers. That's what I was expecting to happen the first time. But no, we open either the barrels should have opened or Diddy should have died. Not both. Well, at least now that I know there are zingers coming. Fuck. I was getting so comfortable with the... The other guys that... Really? This hasn't... I haven't been killed by that thing once. And every time I fought it, I expected it to drop a rock on my head. I'm a man of my word, and I will beat this before playing Aladdin, but Jesus Christ, if I just really, I really just want to play Aladdin right now.
Shit. Okay. There, there, there. Hold on. Hold the fucking phone. Okay. So now I get to do this based solely on eyeballs. Which is essentially what I was doing before anyway. Okay, Diddy, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Fuck, there's more. There's more. God damn it. How far am I in? I think there's... There's this level, maybe... I think there's one more water level. Another, and then two more bosses. So two stages and two bosses. I mean, if I if I could play well, I'd be, you know, there'd be like 10 minutes left of the game. But I can't! I don't know why I grabbed that. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. Right? There you are. This part's so easy. Shit! Alright. Now I know the barrels are coming. And I know who they're being thrown by. I don't like this guy, so I'm gonna kick his ass. Yeah, get out of here. Give me those bananas. You fuck, you be glad I have another Kong. I was so ha I was so happy that I got like to the end that I then remembered as I jumped, shit, there's another clap trap. Double save just cuz. As far as the game would let me before clearing the third palace. There was such a large break I used to I used it to boost up my conf my confidence and social stats. The face when not enough guts to ask the stupid gun airsoft owner about the gun he gave me. Oh no, there's more stages. Platform perils. Oh I remember this one. Is that a new crusher? Because normally I can jump on crushes. Or did I just land on a weird spot? I see. Nerding out about Persona. Why'd I do that? No, Diddy! to be able to turn around and I didn't have enough time to turn around. Luckily, unlike elevator action, this is not a hard level. I don't think the level's called elevator action. If it is though, props to props to rare. I think it's elevator antics. Fuck! Fuck, man. Just fuck everything. I wanted to turn around and throw the barrel, not stand there and throw it no this is a new this is a new crusher because I jumped on his head and I couldn't get it. there is that so hard that's what I wanted to do boing, boing. shit I do remember this level gets crazy. Alright, so this is the hard part. Quote unquote hard. No, you stay up there. 
No, fucking no! It's Naughty's platform. Nobody, nobody's allowed to have. Nobody's allowed to, to play on Naughty's platform. I want to be able to jump on whatever. Really enjoyed the DDS games around that time as well. Ah, fuck! No, no, no! I guess I can't hold my run button. At least I'm killing something at the end of every round, or the beginning of each one. Fuck, man! Just kill the goddamn thing! Ninja kick the damn rabbit! I really? I was still spinning. I was like on my hands, full fucking uh, cartwheel. I don't understand. I game fucking really. Why? I wanted to jump over him. It's not a bad level, it's just the the mechanics that have been present throughout the game have now decided to work against me because we're on a different type of platform. What is this garbage? That's not even fair. The game sets itself up like that every time. When I appear on state, when I appear on the screen for the first time, next to that naughty, if I jump to this platform, I jump, I fall in the pit. I can't get any farther than that fucking clump. Like I could just not run. But then I'm not going to be able to catch up to anything. I feel like this whole area, this whole level, is just the designers going, Yeah, we need another level, but we can't make the game any harder. So why don't we just make a, an entire area based on how much the controls are going to backfire on the player? Why? I just landed. Just let me kill the fucking... Just let me land. Don't worry about somersaulting or whatever. That's not even fair! I was gonna do the thing! I know you can somersault into the fucking guys! It won't even let me do that. And because we're not on a dedicated platform, I can't turn around. Or change Kongs. I want to be Diddy for this. He has a better jump arc. He can jump farther and move faster than DK can. All right, kill the naughty. We go over here. Okay, just fuck off. Okay, there's a B. Get the crusher. There can only be. What the fuck was that? Kill him or bounce off. Don't do both. This is ridiculous. Oh, but I'm getting really good at this part. Fucking no. I'm surprised. 
Uh, fine. It, why did I do that? It looked like it was pointing down. Get on the platform. DK, you should know everything about that. There's a fucking Smash Brothers minigame that hasn't been around since Smash Brothers 1 called Board the Platforms, and you were really good at it. Why'd I do that? Zings. Okay. All right. Why? Why such? Why does it need to have that view on it? And what the hell is its fucking hitbox like? What? Yes, collision detection in this game is very bad. 120, okay, 140, okay, 160, very bad. For Russian space station! What the fuck? Hi, Grant. The name of the stream isn't called Going Bananas for Nothing. I thought I was being playful. I thought I was being funny. And then God forbid I don't... God forbid I actually just fucking hate myself by the end of it. No, just just jump over him, Diddy, you tiny little hat-wearing fuck. Great, fuck off, Crusha. You and your whatever it is that you wear. What is this? Why? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I know I'm running out of lives. I can, I know, I, I know we can do this though. I have faith that, it, that with my amount of skill, my low amount of lives will not, will not force me to succumb to the game over screen. Why does that happen? That doesn't make any sense. I was still rolling. I feel that's the case. God, what the fuck? God stays in heaven because he's afraid of what he created. God created Donkey Kong, everybody knows. It's like the Ark of the Covenant, you're not supposed to actually look inside. And this is what, this is what was inside. They opened it up, it was just a Super Nintendo cartridge with Donkey Kong 64 on it. Dude, that's not even cool. The game designers knew when they made this game. They knew that your lives were gonna be balloons. So that when you died, a balloon popped and made the same exact sound as a facepalm. So that you didn't give yourself brain damage every time when you facepalmed yourself. All right, kill you, kill you, get up on here, fuck all y'all. Jump over the B, maybe, I don't know. 
Fuck the bees. Are you serious? This is what's fucking me up now. There's no changing that. Crusha has to die for me to be able to stand on the platform. I can't roll into him. I have to use the barrel. But if I kill him with the barrel, it shouldn't register that I physically touched him. Because if I'm going to bounce off of him, then that means that the hit detection for the barrel didn't exist. Every time I have died, I have died that way. and Or I've fallen in the pit. No, because I died from the Crusher fucking shoving me in the pit because he's a fuck. Good thing I'm getting all these lives, though. I doubt even the greatest of speedrunners could play this level. Because you just... You cheese your way through this level. I've seen the speedruns. You just float through the entire screen. And that's all that happens. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Give me that barrel. Fuck you. Is that it? Finally! I didn't even realize we were that close to the end of the game. Or to the end of the stage. Oh good, that's it. There isn't a water level. We just go to Neki's Revenge and he's really easy and that's it. That's it. It's just Neki again. Now had we played the first level, or had we gone through the Aztec level and fought the boss, Oh, right, you shoot multiple. This boss would look familiar. Oh, fuck, I'm actually taking hits. What the fuck is that? I forget how to dodge this guy. I feel like it's just jump off to the sides. Fuck. Oh shit! Damn it. Maybe it is that and I just wasn't paying good enough attention. It's catching up. He spits him faster and I can jump. Yeah, because I'm going to take a hit. God damn it. What the fuck? I don't remember this boss fight being this hard. In fact, I don't ever remember dying to him. That's fine. They home on to me. That's great. He's not hard. This boss fight isn't supposed to be hard. What the fuck is going on? Get out. Get back here, you fuck. I guess it's just not... I guess I don't stay on the bounce thing. I don't remember this being the strategy, but okay. Alright, see ya, May. You don't want to stick around for the, the epic finale where I fight the final boss? With all of my no lives left?
I spent so much time fighting K. Rule. And I'm still gonna die a billion times. Oh, fuck! I th thought he started jumping already. I don't remember jumping on him three, four times. Alright. I don't remember that being the case, but sure. Alright. Throw your crown, and then I jump on you. I tried jumping twice. Steven, define British. Note to self, don't try to read chat and play the game at the same time. It doesn't work out. Hard to jump through. It's just a matter of actually doing it. For some reason, it feels like they something they would come up with on like the up in the air, or one of those British comedy tropes. Plus, the platforming style of British game companies in the early '90s. Well, Rareware is out of is out of Britain. Fuck, man, that's not even fair. hard to jump through it's just a matter of getting DK to do it because it's not hard it's not hard to do for Diddy which is why I want to save him for when DK dies we you're actually forced to watch the whole credit bit for the first time that's actually kind of funny the end question mark I just have to hit him three more times that's the hardest three more times in the game. Fuck! That seemed a little too coincidental. There's no way he jumps to that point. I feel like it's home on to you. With the intent of clearing the screen. Sky, and I have the feeling that's not how cannons work. Right. 
Fuck, I was too far back. That was my fault. Small jumping start! Okay, on that. That's that's fine. I thought when he goes back, it's the small jumps. Fuck. The cannonballs is still the hardest part. Even, even though the little jumping gets ridiculous. Fuck! Oh, is it even worth continuing? In later Donkey Kong countries, the final boss gives you an opportunity to, like, it gives you a Kong barrel in between phases, usually. Not every phase, obviously, but... but then in this game, they give you one hit to make it work. You can get hit one time. I should have just stayed where I was standing. That's not even fair! His hitbox is fucking huge! Diddy's even looking at the screen, he's like, what the fuck is up with DK's hitbox? crown. Be a dick. Now get up. Oh, fuck. And he just jumps on me. So that wooden plank right in front of the mast is a safe spot. Right here. I can remember that. I think this is just the safe zone. 
this wooden plank right here in front of the main mast. I wonder if this has been figured out yet. Like, if other gamers have been like, oh yeah, if you just stand in front of the mast, you're fine. Because the cannonballs line up perfectly with it, so it's a good jumping point. Cool, so I guess I can use that as a as a safe strat. Alright, jump. I think we got this. Jump. Oh fuck. All right. Yay, Donkey Kong has been defeated and everybody left. Of course. Two hours. Hm. Yep, I know, I know. Cranky, thank you. Unfortunately, I don't own two or three anymore. Once upon a time, I don't know why she got the brilliant idea, but uh, my mother sold them. Well, three comes across as like a game for like a younger audience, and two, it was a more exaggerated, like way more exaggerated, like it was an adventure movie. It was a lot darker, it had darker tones, and a lot of the levels, it wasn't like as naturally designed. This is like almost pseudo-believable should a world where anthropomorphic crocodiles exist. But enough of that, because fuck Donkey Kong Country, I'm gonna play some Aladdin. Just move everything over. There we go. It doesn't. It doesn't say which Aladdin. It just did. Wait, let me try Disney's Aladdin. Why can't we update information? I don't know which Aladdin this is. I'm gonna put a Aladdin's magic lamp. Who know? Who knows? It might be it. It's not showing me what the what the things look like, so I'm just gonna go for a guess that that's what that is. And oh, look at that! You can see all of this bullshit. Practice the Ness Die Hard Stairs speedrun. <laughs> Try to get a world record. I'd actually like to take up speedrunning in this game. This is probably the game I have... I can speedrun the best. 
course, I go for a lot of safe strats because they can't trust myself not to take damage. But I can speed run it better than any other game I've ever played. And it's another one of those games like Donkey Kong Country. Or just any kind of game, really, that's like this. It doesn't have a whole lot of structure to it. Where if you played it a lot growing up, you know, you just have this one set idea of how you play each stage. And that's just kind of how I grew up playing this game. I played it so much that I just, I know what everything in every level looks like. This will not take nearly as long to play as Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, people are still actively speedrunning this, and it surprises me how good some of these people are. Seriously? Hmm. I'll take that. game doesn't really break until you get the sailcloth, which is right here. You can actually get it in the first level, but I don't like going out of my way to grab it. Are you serious? Who's got the right idea? Mega Man 3 and Super Metroid. Yeah, prior to the insane glitches that were later spawned for those games and their ridiculousness. Oh my god, get on the platform! Or the whatever. It's not a platform, it's a trampoline. What I've always loved about this game is I don't think there's any real way to break it. It's really just get, play the game as fast as possible. It's very simple that way. It feels weird having five hearts. I've never been one to actively seek out getting the hearts in the Genie minigame. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Stage one clear. Got one red gem, but doesn't matter. I love even the sprite design. The sprite design in this game looks perfect. Characters look great. Music sounds good. Sounds like something that, uh... Who made this? Who made... Who wrote the music for this? I feel... I feel like Menken was behind the music for Aladdin. Shit. Well, I guess there's no getting that one up now. was expecting to be able to jump on you. Just in case I didn't update information. Another genie minigame!
One ups would be nice. I think I actually got. Yeah, awesome. It's better to get the two ups or even a one up over a credit. Credits are just two ups that you can use later, but then you have to get your cell cloth all over again. It's a pain in the neck. Then this is the stage where I die a lot when I'm being reckless. I can get a good. If I can just get a good head start on this level, it's not so bad. Are you serious? I'd rather just wait. <laughs> serious at least let me get to the next level if I die there it's not a big deal there's also no way to skip these cutscenes that bothers me and then that burning red it's not pleasant. It's like a neon and a pastel at the same time, which doesn't even make sense because pastel colors are supposed to be soft and earthy. And these stills are great. It's like the it's like they watched the movie. I love pissing on the the Genesis version of this game because a lot of it doesn't make sense. It's just like, oh, yeah, but, yeah, whatever, movie, assets, cool, but we have to make it video gamey. The whole movie itself is would have been a fantastic video game, just the way its whole, whole story was told. Except for the fact that they had the pad part of it, like the whole going inside of Genie's lamp stage, which is fine. That's a welcome addition for me, because it's nice, bright, and vibrant, and has fun music and fun colors. And then there's the sand level, which I'm not even going to talk about because it's not bad, but it's like, why would you add that to the movie? That doesn't make sense. I would have been fine only having so many levels as long as they were good levels, which they are. Shit. Thought I had more time. I was right next to the, say, uh, the checkpoint, too. Okay, it gives me an opportunity to get uh, gems over again. Not that I'm going for the red gems. Are you serious? All right. But gems do help. For every 100, you get an extra heart. Hearts are nice when you're trying not to die. And then this is the one that killed me. Right there. Or, no, it was this one? I don't remember. I'm bad. I'm bad with memory. It must have been that one, because here I am at the checkpoint. There's the bread. Now coming up is the... Right, fuck it, I'll get another one. Fuck! I don't think I'll get all the hearts in this one stage, but or all the gems at least. Also, the auto scroll in this level, I don't know, it's a little slow for me. It's not too slow, it's just a little too slow for me. I just, I wish it moved a little faster. Maybe give you a bigger sense of urgency. But it's like they want, they slowed it down specifically so you can see how much effort that they put into it. And I'm not against that, I just think it's. Damn. That's okay. Credits never, 
never killed anyone. In fact, they let you play the game for longer. Although, three credits is more than enough. Alright, so considering one hit kills you, regardless, the fact that I have two hearts in this stage is irrelevant. There's the second one that's late to the party, and he doesn't matter. Now we're in here, so I can get as close to the lava as I want, and as long as I don't touch it, I'll be fine. Because it's not going to crash on me anytime soon. Alright. Push right up against the wall, and it gets you out of the stage faster. I'll be doing the same thing when we get to the whole new world level. Only there, I'll actually be collecting gems. I think it's funny. I didn't think to change my uh, screen background. I actually had no intention originally of playing Aladdin today. I just decided eventually... Uh, I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll play some Aladdin. Why not? And then I didn't think about it. So the Donkey Kong Country background might be... Uh, might be new. I don't think anybody was really expecting that if they come to see Aladdin. Then again, they're coming to see Aladdin's magical lamp, which might not necessarily be this one. Fuck, I always die on that. It needs to be all clouds. I don't know what it is. The rings have a very weird detection as to when you let go. It'll let you go and swing you up at different arcs, which I'm not against. But they disappear. Let me let me play around with that in a setting where I can just, you know, swing on it for a while. Well, I guess they do actually give you opportunity to do that in earlier levels. So, never mind. I just suck. Cloud. Card. Damn it, we're doing this again. Card. Cloud. Ring. Card and hover. Okay. That's not that bad. I just prefer the clouds because they're easier to manipulate. <sighs> Fuck, man. I saw that red gem and I wanted it, and that uh, was entirely my fault. have that extra heart so even if I should game over god damn it game all right let's not dick around this time I have as many heart more hearts than I'll actually need to be able to beat the game Seven is nice, but I can do with six. And you know what? I'll probably get plenty in the whole new world stage. So I'll probably have seven hearts by the end of the game. Not to mention all the small gems I'm going to collect in the meantime. The whole new world stage, because there's no way to skip through it. It's the only stage I actually intend to go after the red gems, which give you three. And there's this guy, so maybe I can get some lives from him. I expected to die there. That's cool. The last one shouldn't be too hard. Like, why can't I select? Because you don't use the D-pad for this, stupid. I don't think I'm getting a two up. Oh, please don't refill my health. Oh, I'm getting a two up. Yay! Fortune smiles down on the Middle Kingdom.
Oh shit. I was doing so good. God damn it. The game. Stop that. We have a jump button. Let's use it. No. Not the fall button. That's. I don't even think that's a button. That's an action. Shit. If I could just get up all the way. Fuck, man. The monster placement in this is bullshit. All right, if we can just get to the springs, which is what I wanted to do. Why not? Could be the difference between life and death at some point. Shit! Uh, fine. I got to the checkpoint, so it's not that big a deal. Fuck! That's not what I wanted to do! Suddenly my jump button doesn't work. Okay, jump. Seriously. Just because I have credits doesn't mean I want to use them. Yay. And then that's it. It just kind of ends uneventfully. Yeah. No boss, no anything. That's why at least with stage, you know, with stage three. Oh no, that was its own stage. Yeah, the fire levels, is the, the, the out running the lava level is its own level. How about that? At least now if I uh, game over here, I can grab a new sailcloth just right at the beginning. Oh fuck, that might be happening. <laughs> Please no. Fuck! I mean, yeah, fine, whatever. At least it's in the first stage so I can just get the sailcloth over again. But I had 50 fucking gems. But at least now I have all my apples back, so I got that going for me. the Egyptian tone of this music even though I don't know it, it feels Egyptian to me even though you know Egypt and Arabia are adjacent each other it's no surprise they'd share a lot of instruments and sounds in common but it's like we're in an under we're in a desert underground and what appears to be like a you know like an Egyptian crypt or something So should I die all my lives? I have another credit. Bing. That's fine. Luckily though, in this level, there is... If you really suck at this level, there's a never-ending uh, one-up. Which I will be getting, because it's a one-up. Who'd turn that down? And apples. More apples than... More than enough apples to, to last me the entirety of the game. 40 apples is plenty. 20 apples is plenty. I mean, if you look at it economically. Cool. 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 
this level, which isn't that bad. The only real possibility for death is if the chains decide to, or if that happens, if the chains decide to switch which direction they're going at a weird time, which I know it's on a timer, but fuck, okay, that actually saved me. I'm gonna take a hit, but that's fine, I'll just eat it. Kill you. Now we have a quote-unquote boss that can't even harm me and dies in one hit. Come on, Abu, let's go. We have a game to beat. Jasmine, you fuck soul and Jasmine. Yep, 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 I know. Us! 32 gems? I should be able to get 68 gems inside of this level. Genie, you're not allowed to see yourself be seen, you ass. No, fuck, well, there goes one. This controls so bad. Okay. So all the all the shit's down here. That's fine. That's fine. Eh. Okay, I'd rather get you than those three. Fuck, these reds are not in places I remember. Jesus, we can just zoom about. I am not able to control this at all. Handles like ass. There we go. Yay, fireworks. All right, final set of levels. Jafar, Jasmine, Aladdin, Jafar. Jafar, Jafini. I didn't get nearly as many as I thought I would, or I got more than I thought I did. For a set of end stage levels, this is actually a really fun area. Breaking back into the palace is probably my favorite segment of this game, because it's not much harder than the rest of the game has been so far. But like, there's a bunch of cool stuff, and the music's great, and... It's just all around good. Four lives, eight hearts. I have a very good feeling about this. thought that was weird. They give you the scarab right at the end, and then the only separation between you and it is one guy. And then the level ends. I always thought that was some odd design, but I didn't make the game. Doing very well so far. I think I've only been playing for like half an hour. Which, if the the new world record is 16 minutes and 17 seconds, how the fuck do you do that? There has to be some kind of wrong warp.
kick. And this level, the level with the fire. I always thought this was neat. It's a neat little uh, concept for a level. And then this is apples? Ah, it's just bread. Um, excuse me? Oh, this is the not mandatory one. Well, I dropped the chicken off, so I might as well, might as well get it. All right, full health. Plenty of apples to fight you far, I guess. 25 minutes. A few deaths and drops during the genie one. Yeah. That really, the genie level, that first one, is the only place I actually have trouble. Finding the timing to bounce off the pole is very... It seems to change. Sometimes I have a few dud jumps. I don't know how many hits I'm at. I think one more. Maybe two. I don't know if I'm at five or six. That was at six. Yeah, I've tried doing the pot jumping thing, and it's it's not comfortable. I don't I don't like doing it. I take too much damage. If I practiced it more, I'd be more comfortable with it, but I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. And then maybe just take free shots at Jafar when he swings low. Let's see if we can get a loop started. Okay, you're gonna start by spitting eggs at me. All right. Got one. Now you're gonna lunge at me. Or more eggs. Okay. I'll take that hit. Oh, shit. Hold on. Do it again. There we go. One more hit. Fuck. I jumped too soon. Damn. I had a lot of good opportunities there, and I squandered most of them. Okay, let's see if I can find if I can find the spot. If I can find, no, damn it, uh, Aladdin! All right, that's. I think that's it. Damn it, I was close. Fez has to be in the background line. Heel is on the middle diamond. Wanted to see if I could save some time. <laughs> by finding the perfect jumping spot. I think technically, once you beat him, that really, uh, that just ends the speed run, so you wouldn't have to worry about that. But yeah, technically that would be game. About half an hour. It's not bad. Cool. 29.20. A new PB. This is actually a really good run for me, despite the fact that I died a couple times in the genie stages. I usually die at least once or twice when I end up playing, and I was making a lot of good saves 
in areas that normally give me trouble, so. That mode seven though. Yeah, yeah, we know how the movie ends. I guess that's going to wrap it up for the stream today. I streamed for about, let's see, 1.30 to now. Uh, three and a half hours? Two and a half. Two hours and 41 minutes. My dashboard tells me exactly how long I've been streaming for. <laughs> so... I guess I didn't have to piece together how how long I've been going. But uh, I don't know when Ke when we're going to be able to be home to stream some more. I know Kelsey wants to stream soon. Like tomorrow. Like she's she has an itch to get back to her schedule. Now she also works tomorrow. So I don't know what the plan is around that. We'll figure something out. After this week, things will be back to normal. Because I don't know if her parents are going anywhere else for the rest of the year. Doesn't mean they aren't. But at least not that we know of. So that'll make it easier to work around having to go out and watch their place. Because that just screws up our whole flow here. But. I wish I could skip this. It's not a big deal. I'm just going to choose the. I'm just going to choose. I'm just going to uh, end the stream here. I don't even need to worry about... Yeah, there we go. Music. Genie music. Um, I'm just going to end the stream here because uh, the game is over. And I need to get back over to her parents' place so that I can watch all the dogs. She's there right now, and I know she hasn't seen me all day. So thank you, everybody, who joined me for this near three hours of gaming excellence. Uh, I am Zero Gear Plus, and you have just watched my stream. So again, thank you to everyone, and I will see you all later.